Hello, I'm Dave from Dino PC, and this is the 1060 from MSI. Specifically, the Gaming X version. MSI have come through for us. We've been trying to get our hands on some 1060s, and the only two we could get hold of was the Zotac Amp Edition 1060 and the MSI Gaming X 1060. Once again, all the opinions on this video are my own, and all testing is done fairly by myself, our test rig that's always linked down below in the description. But anyway, let's get started. I'm not gonna bore you guys with talking about uh, loads of different things, um, and it is a shame that we can't test the reference or founder's edition uh, 1060, but we got a damn good one instead. We got the Gaming X. The Gaming X features the same twin Frozer design as the 1070 Gaming X and indeed the 1080 Gaming X, so you know it's going to be pretty damn cool. Along with those things, the CUDA core count is at 1,280. We've got a boost clock of 1,809, but in testing it did go up to 1,916. A memory clock of 8,100 megahertz, six gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, a memory bus of 192 bit, three display ports, HDMI, and dual link DVI-D. The TDP is 120 watts, with the recommended power supply being only 400 watts. The card's dimensions itself is 277 millimeters by 140 millimeters by 39 millimeters. The weight of the card makes it 1,017 grams. And you do get a CD driver, which did actually help us this time, believe it or not. We had a lot of problems getting this thing off the ground. But that's not because of the software issues, but because some numpty installed Doom on my test rig and there wasn't enough SSD space to install the drivers. Once we'd figured all that out of the way, it was plain sailing. So this is, in my theory, going to be a pretty damn good card. Um, because, well, let's face it. They have essentially taken out their 1080 GPUs and 1070 GPUs and simply stuck a 1060 in there. So you've got 1080 cooling with 1060 performance, which should be very good. Let's get into the benchmarks and find out what this can do against the RX 480 and what it's been compared against on their own lineup, the 980. So unfortunately, we only have three graphs for you today. I know it's terrible, isn't it? But unfortunately, uh, my colleague who normally makes them for me is away, so I had to use a much simpler graph making system as I haven't made graphs since I was about seven years old. Anyway, on this you can see the Batman average FPS, which was taken from Batman Arkham Knight at 1080p on ultra settings. And as you can see, the 1060 and the 980, both of which are from MSI, are level pegging. I mean, with a bit of overclocking, either one could obviously push a little bit higher than that, but 107 FPS is pretty damn good, and the RX 480 sadly trailing behind at just under 100 FPS there. This was the most interesting one for me. This was the Far Cry Primal HD Texture Pack at 1440p, our stressest, stressiest test that we simply do at the moment. The 1060 and the 980 here are once again level pegging, with the RX 480 sadly trailing slightly behind. Again, all of the settings are cranked here, but I've seen a pattern developing already. The pattern breaks, however, when we come over to the value scores, and there shouldn't, I shouldn't really, to be honest, show you this because something is wrong with our value benchmark at the moment, but I know that people want to see the scores anyway, so this is what we got with everything turned up, full screen, 1080p, with the 1060. The RX 480 and the 980 benchmark, however, something is a bit wrong there. I think something has gone wrong in our testing. Don't worry, we'll fix it for next time. But that's just so you can see the Valley scores. Unfortunately, that's all of the testing I've been able to do today. This card actually came in on launch day. If I managed to get it just a teeny bit earlier, I would have been able to do some more stuff with it. And I want to get this video out for you guys ASAP. This has been a very quick video, I know, but I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And I really like this card. We're going to do a 1060 comparison video soon. When we get more 1060s in, we're going to take the MSI, pit it up against the Zotac Amp Edition, and then pit it up against another graphics card. And we may even throw one of the kind of micro uh, 1060s in there as well and have like a big 1060 lineup because I'm actually really excited about this GPU. It's easily chucking out 980 performance with far less power consumption and, of course, far less thermal output. However, that may be down to the twin Frozer of the MSI Gaming X, which I should probably tell you before I go, 63 degrees across the board at 19,016 megahertz. Pretty darn beastly, I have to say. 
So very well done MSI for the cooler and very well done Nvidia for the 1060. We'll see you guys next time and we'll do a proper big 1060 video coming very soon. Stay subscribed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.